Yo! Welcome to today's video. Yes, it's us. No, yes, it's a tutorial. Yes, I'm a football partner. And yes, I'll tune in. Do you want to know how to make a YouTube end screen inside Flora? No? <laughs> If you do, all you guys gotta do is head over to filmstock.com or click the link in the description. Once you're here, all you guys gotta do is head over to effects. Then you wanna search YouTube. And here are a bunch of YouTube effects you guys can use inside for more, including uh, end screens, which are right here. I'm gonna be mainly talking about the YouTube pack and the YouTube end screen pack. There are a few more like this one, this one, and I mean this one, there are loads of them, but the two most popular ones are these two and that's what I'm gonna be diving into today. If you want to use the YouTube pack, all you guys got to do is click on it and click download. And you're going to make sure you're signed into your one sure for more account to download it. All you guys got to do is click download. A little pop-up should come up in Fomora uh, downloading it. And once it's done, you're all set. You can also do this with the other pack as well. Hit download and you're all good to go. To access these packs for the YouTube pack one, you want to go to titles and go down to the film stock. I already have it clicked. This is the entirety of the YouTube pack right here with a bunch of text and uh, end screens that you guys can fully customize. I'm gonna go over all of them, uh, but I'm gonna drag one, uh, let's go for this one, right at the end of my video. And I have a simple transition here, I'm just gonna put right there. So this is the outro of my last tutorial, I'll uh, show it right here. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out. And it transitions perfectly into the outro. So I'm gonna extend this a little bit here. And as you see, uh, there are things that pop up, obviously, you know, thanks for watching and some video stuff. You can also change your name. So what you wanna do to change this stuff is double click on it. And then whatever you click on each text, you can, you know, there's a little pop, little pop up there. So if you wanna change the name, all you wanna do is click on it and change it to, I'm gonna put Esno. And I'm also gonna change the font to uh, Superboom right there. And that's what I'm gonna do for each one. So there we go, Superboom. And so let's say I wanted to change this to playlist. Double click and change it to playlist. It is very simple to do. But yeah, I recommend adding a transition here. So I have, I just have a blurry roll, but you can add basically anything you want. It already comes up with the little slots for your videos, for your end screen, stuff like that. It is really nice. If you wanted to use another one, I'm going to delete this and head back into titles and to the pack. And let's go to this one right here. It is similar to my actual outro that I use because it has the little subscribe icon for your channel thing right there. And you can also change whatever you want. So if you... What the is this? No. What the... No. 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 So to change this stuff as well, double click, and then you can, you know, click on anything to change. So once again, Esno, and I guess I'll keep recommended video and subscribe. Um, but yeah, you can have its own thing here. You can put your stuff, maybe a cool effect for this. You guys want to go to effects and get water and just, you know, place it over this entirety. And then, you know, double click and, and turn the emboss and steps off. You might get a cool wave one, wave effect. Yeah, it kind of waves a little bit. So it's a bit of a jig. You can also do stuff like mild, um, put mild on it, and then turn down the frequency and stuff like that. Or something like this for a little bit more of a wave. For the other pack, it will not be in text, but effects. You want to go to effects and go down to film stock. And this is the one, the YouTuber end screen one. So there are a bunch of templates. You can't really adjust these uh, gaming type ones that look very cool. So I'm going to grab this one right there. And since it's in effect, you can't add a transition on it, so you have to put it before. Something like that. Of course, you need some music for your outro. You are insane if you don't. So just grab Maroon 5's maps just for a quick second. Did I? There we go. Just for a quick second. And yeah, let's see this. Yeah, you can have something like that. You can also, on the beat drop, that. You can also split it and then double click and go to the audio settings. And let's go for low bass and it can change the bass of it. But I wonder so it sounds like background music and stuff like that. That will that is also cool. Cool. You can try some other ones, but I think low bass is the best. I've used it times. And yeah. And that's how you make a YouTube end screen inside for more for your YouTube videos. If you enjoyed this video or helped you out, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't. We're on a road to 7k subs and it'll mean a lot if you guys sub down below. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching once again and peace out.